Along with our solid DFL-endorsed candidates, voters in November will see two state constitutional amendments on the ballot. One of them, the voter photo ID constitutional amendment, might read nice on your ballot, but it's a Trojan horse concocted by right-wingers and big money to very clearly suppress the Democratic vote. In the most open, clean state in the country, a state with two recounts in the last two general election cycles, where even the Republicans had to admit there was no evidence whatsoever of voter fraud, this amendment will be used to take away the vote from thousands of Minnesotans. With us is producer Jeff Strait. Let's cut to the quick. What is Minnesota up against with regard to these constitutional amendments devised by the right-wing radical Tea Parties of Minnesota? A lot of right-wingers now control our legislature. They're taking marching orders from national groups and big money, not from their own constituents. And you're referring to this ALEC group uh, that uh, s seems to feed out uh, yeah. proposed bills to uh, the uh, lackeys here in Minnesota that uh, run with them? Oh, absolutely, plus a lot of big PACs that are supporting these people. In January, the nonpartisan public interest group, Common Cause Minnesota, released a 60-page report on corporate lobbying in our state legislature. It documents lines of influence some lawmakers won't fess up to. Are you a member of ALEC, American Legislative Exchange Council, where these bills are written by corporate lobbyists? Thanks for coming, ladies. Sure appreciate it. You're not going to answer any questions about ALEC? I don't need to answer any questions. Pardon? But thank you. you Please step what? up before I call security. You don't what about questions? I'm sorry, we guys call security. Through a front group named the American Legislative Exchange Council, or ALEC, corporations including Coca Cola, the National Rifle Association, United Health Group, and Coke Industries are coaching Republican lawmakers in St. Paul on how to write law. Uh, we released a report earlier this year that found over 60 model bills uh, that were drafted by ALEC that have been introduced in the Minnesota State Legislature. And they bring the two groups together of corporate lobbyists and legislators and they sit and draft uh, these bills. Uh, and these bills are all designed to really pad the bottom line of these corporations. Earlier this year, Common Cause Minnesota could name 27 legislators in St. Paul as ALEC members and they are Republican. They've carried bills templated by ALEC that make it hard to vote, endanger police, and criminalize whistleblowers in food processing plants. So they have staff that recruit state legislators who will carry this stuff. Then they bring those bills home, make a few changes to them, uh, sort of cut, do a quick cut and paste job, and then introduce them in Minnesota. Some bills modeled by ALEC would uh, favor chewing tobacco and others would amend certain corporate tax breaks into the Minnesota Constitution. That's right, corporate welfare, government-defined marriage, and voter IDs would be amended into the Minnesota Constitution. And, and the Our guests on Democratic Visions have been very clear on their opposition to the marriage and voter ID amendments. It, in the suburbs, I just don't think people believe that we should put, be putting discrimination in the Constitution. We've never put anything in the Constitution that restricts people's rights. We've only put things in the Constitution that expand rights. I think we have to let people know that this is not about photo ID. It's not about photo ID. It's about remaking our election system to put up, to, to fence people out, to put up barriers. Common Cause lists local Republicans Keith Downey, Jennifer Loon, and David Hahn among those who carried ALEC legislation. Local opposition to ALEC-backed bills has been underreported locally, but it is growing here and around the nation. Now we have operatives that want us to join a well-designed, nationally orchestrated effort to suppress votes. Church leaders in Minnesota, the recall elections in Wisconsin, and protests elsewhere are pushing back on the corporate manipulation of elected officials and the likes of ALEC. My great-grandmother -grandma, and many, many others gave their lives so that all citizens could register and vote free from intimidation and phony bureaucratic barriers. Recently, several giant corporations have dropped support of ALEC. Its right-wing goals apparently aren't that good for business. 
But like the pro-gun crowd, local Republican legislators are standing their ground fully armed. Uh, Minnesota has the opportunity to uh, be in the vanguard of states that uh, take on the Republicans and their agenda. And I think this proposed constitutional amendment is one that we can uh, beat and uh, uh, use it as an example across the country when other states, reading the ALEC kind of uh, amendments, try and uh, implement those amendments in their state. Uh, I would say, though, that we are in for a battle and it's gonna take the efforts of all of us to combat that. I think it's one-to-one -one conversation. I think we have to be talking to our friends, to our neighbors, to our relatives, so that they understand that uh, to discriminate and to uh, enshrine discrimination in the Constitution limits the, right, the collective rights of everyone. Democratic Visions is handmade by volunteers for the entire metro region through DFL Senate District 48, Lori Pryor, Chair.